Well, welcome back to Life Journey Production Studios. My name is Keith, and this is the Hyperdeck Series, Part 3. Today, we're going to talk about how to monitor from your Hyperdeck Studio HD+, Plus. also how to record to it. In fact, I am actually recording in my ATEM Extreme ISO right now at Hyperdeck High, and I'm also recording in the HDMI input, that's right, coming from my Canon DSLR into the HDMI new input in the HyperDeck Studio HD+. I have it set for ProRes. We're recording at the exact same frame rate, and we're going to compare the HyperDeck recording at ProRes, and we're going to also compare the same type recording that's encoded inside the ATEM Extreme ISO. And I'm, again, recording at the highest setting available inside the ATEM Extreme software. So let's take a look at that. Then we're going to show you how to hook it up for monitoring and the cool new features that you can do through the SDI output in the HyperDeck, as well as the HDMI input that we're using right now, as well as the output HDMI. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, here's the two videos side by side. You got ProRes on the right, recorded in the HyperDeck directly from my Canon 5D Mark IV. And I looped out of it, just like I play videos into my ATEM Extreme ISO in channel seven. I'm recording that at HyperDeck High. So you compare the side by side and you tell me what you think. Now, let me take you to the next step and we're gonna show you how to hook it up for monitoring, and then we're gonna come back and hook it up for recording. Stay tuned. Well, one of the great things about the new HyperDecks are the options that you have for monitoring. You have an SDI out now for monitoring, which allows you to have information on the screen, or you can choose um, clean out. So that's uh, an advantage and that's a new feature as well as the typical HDMI out, which is just a clean HDMI out. So I'm going to show you that on the screen and then we'll show you the back of the HyperDeck. So this is the HyperDeck Studio HD Plus that I have here in my studio. This is out of the SDI. I have the data turned on inside the menu and that's the information you get. I have this logo. That's the subscribe logo. I can start, stop, or finish it. I can switch to something else on my HyperDeck. Like this is my Stinger. And you can see there's information provided for that Stinger there on the screen. We'll stop that, and that's your choice. There's also an HDMI out, just like there has been before. And if I switch to that, this is the same image flashed for a minute because I'm just using a two in one out switch. And so this is it without that information on it coming from the HDMI. Now I can go back to the SDI and then go over to the menu. So we're going to go to a um, four box layout here, go to this four box. And now I have my iPhone on there and um, we're going to hit play again on this logo here and I'll hit stop. And so now I have the front of it and we're going to go through the menu. I know it's on there time. So let's change one of those boxes. There you go. So now you have the logo. You have a downward look at the back of the HyperDeck as well as the front. So we're going to go in the menu now and um, I'm going to turn that feature off. So go in the menu and we're going to go over one menu to monitor. We're gonna hit set, and then here's that option for clean um, on and off. We're gonna hit clean on now, and that's gonna change our SDI feed. We can hit play on this again, and then as I switch back over to our other view. So now we are monitoring that same signal. I'll hit play here so you can see it's the HyperDeck. Um, I will let that go through, and once we get halfway through there, we'll hit stop. So I've stopped that background image from the HyperDeck, and now if I switch both views, that's clean, and that's clean. So both of those views are clean now because we turned that off. So we'll go back and turn that feature back off again. Menu, set, over one screen, hit set again, turn clean off. Go back to menu, and there you have on the screen the information again. So 
two ways to monitor. You, so you could have one big monitor and another clean feed out. You could have two clean feeds out. So if you want to see the data, the information on your HyperDeck HD Plus, you can do that now, and that's a great feature. So if you're getting ready to do a show and you wanted to make sure that everything was right and preview it, then you could use it on a big monitor. That's a lot better than the tiny screen on the HyperDeck itself, and um, though it's great to have that screen, it's a lot easier to... Um, Watch these videos and have some data information on the screen if you want. Um, and um, you can use that data to help make a decision on what clip you want to use or maybe um, for recording. So now let's look at the back of the unit. And then after that, we're going to talk about how to record to the HyperDeck. So let's go back to the full screen here. So now let's take a look at the back of the HyperDeck and how do you hook up to HDMI or the HDMI output and the SDI output um, and uh, monitor. So let's go to this shot again here. And now you see the back of the unit. So over here, you have the SDI out. That's gonna have to be converted if you're going to an HDMI monitor. Below this input right here is another HDMI cable. This is the one for monitor feeding. So this is the one you'd come out and the older HyperDeck Mini like I have here in the studio still has one HDMI out. It doesn't have the SDI out for monitoring with the extra features on it. So um, you can hook up the SDI right here, sorry, right here, and you can also hook up the HDMI right here. Now below that HDMI is another input, and that input is for um, bringing in a camera. So you used to have to convert it to the SDI input. It still has that input, and using one of the 6G converters like I have here on the desk, and you can still that, you can take HDMI in, you can take the HDMI in, you can go SDI out, and I have two coming out. I have one of these going to my HyperDeck SDI input. I have the other one going to my other HyperDeck SDI input. Um, and so um, we'll switch over to camera three. So you can see that. So right here, I have this looping, and it's going over to both rigs. Back to SuperSource. And so I can go into the SDI below here. It's the second one in. Um, and then I can also loop out of it. So lots of hookups on this new HyperDeck. But again, we're talking about the HDMI out to monitor, the SDI out for monitor. Then you have an HDMI in for recording and an SDI in. And in order to demo that today, I wanted to have them all hooked up. And again, if you want to come out of a camera HDMI and hook up to the SDI input in the back of the old HyperDeck Mini, which was your only option for recording, or the new SD. Uh, Studio HD Plus, you'll have to convert your HDMI coming out of your camera to SDI. And if you can record 4K out of the clean HDMI output of your camera, and you want to gather all that information up to 30 frames per second at 2K or 4K on your HyperDeck, then you want to make sure you use a 6G converter because this will let you send a 4K signal. I also have audio feeding it. That's for another video, and I actually talked about this uh, adapter here on the channel before, but I am feeding it audio. So the HDMI signal that's coming in from my camera is being fed out through two SDIs with camera, with audio coming directly from my Rodecaster Pro. So that my Rodecaster Pro is now going into the converter, and then you're hearing my Rodecaster Pro coming in those two channels. Now, because I loop this out, it's also feeding my HyperDeck because I have one SDI going to my HyperDeck HD Plus and I have the other SDI um, out going to this one. And it's kind of a fail safe. If one quits, the other one is there. So I could be recording that one camera on two decks simultaneously. And that's just one use of multiple decks. So a little different look right now. We're going to demo both HyperDex playing at the same time. So downstream key number one will play in the background, and downstream key number two is going to be a stinger and play in the foreground. And this actually has audio, so I'm going to flip on that channel so you can hear this new stinger. So now we're going to demo. This is my iPhone camera. 
So a little bit close. Now we're gonna demo two HyperDex playing at the same time. So I have this camera angle because I have both my other cameras in my studio hooked up to my HyperDex. I'm no longer in record mode, so I can show you those camera images of me. Now I have videos playing and I have two videos, one in the HyperDeck, one in the HyperDeck HD Plus, and I'm gonna use the HD Plus to play a stinger over my HyperDeck playing a time-lapse video that was shot right out of my backyard. So check this out. So first we're gonna bring up that background video and also turn on the audio so you can listen to the audio in the stinger. So turn on audio on my HyperDeck 2. Um, actually, let's turn it off and um, I will turn it on uh, once we cut to it. So let's turn audio follows video. So I'll turn that off and put it on audio follows video. Okay, I'm gonna put my headphones on so I can hear the stinger as well, make sure that you're hearing it. So again, I'll try to look in this camera and not up at my monitor. So first we're gonna turn on the background video. You're gonna lose my image for just a minute. So that is my HyperDeck um, Studio Mini, which I've had for a long time here in the studio. And this is my new stinger video playing over video right here on the channel. So that's my stinger. So I can use that in the middle of a broadcast and I have a macro so I could cut from one channel to the other channel. So right now I'm on my iPhone. If I wanted to cut to, let's cut to uh, the video playing on number one. And so I'll open up my macros. We're gonna go from my shot and that's on my iPhone and we're gonna roll the stinger and then we're gonna cut to the background that you saw earlier. So here we go. And I'm back again. So there's the stinger playing over video because I'm cutting from this image from my iPhone, cutting back to this image. And all I'm doing to make that transition is I'm hitting play on a macro I created with my stinger. And the audio stays, but you hear the stinger as well. So I can cut back and forth. And if I time it right, or if I make a companion button, then I could make all this stuff happen at the same time with one button push. So again, that is the amazing um, things that you can do with these uh, HyperDex playing video over video. So that's a wrap on today's video. We've talked about recording and monitoring in the HyperDex Studio HD+. You have two inputs to be able to record now, STI and HDMI, and you have two inputs to be able to monitor one of those being HDMI and SDI, and those are advantages, as well as the SDI has more information if you want it for monitoring, or a clean signal if you don't. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you subscribe. If you haven't already, please ring the bell if you want to know when the next video comes out and hit the like button if this video helped you and you liked it, so more and more people here on social media can see these videos. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about animated graphics. We're gonna look at a stinger from the HyperDeck HD Plus, and we're gonna talk about how to integrate that with your control software in your studio or even companion and your stream deck, all in the next video right here at Life Journey Production Studios. I'm Keith, and I'll see you in the next video.